What's up guys, S2H back in action once again and today we're going to do something a little bit different on the channel. I'm going to try and do a challenge to myself to try and see if I can make my money back off six packs and I'm also going to try and beat the odds. I'm going to see if I can get more than one young gun out of six retail packs that I bought out of a 24 pack blaster. I went through the blaster, I went three packs down each time and I picked the third pack down till I got to my six packs. So let's go through it. We got three packs of 2020, 2021. What I'd like to get is a uh, Young Guns Canvas and Lexus Lafreniere Young Guns, uh, Bow and Barham Young Guns, even though I already had the Bow and Barham Young Guns Canvas. Um, Nick Robertson would be another one. Uh, Ty Delandria is a guy who I'm big on and think is going to be really good. Morgan Geeky. There are some nice names in here. It's going to be harder to make your money back off this product because where the NHL has season hasn't started and COVID's on the go, prices have dropped, and uh, a lot of these guys haven't played yet, so... Uh, their young guns don't hold a ton of value, but when the season starts and they get going and some of these young players really heat up and get to get more well-known amongst the fans, their price will rise for sure. But we'll see if I can make my money back off these six packs. I paid f just over $4 for each one of these packs. I think it was $4.50 plus tax. It came to $32 for all six packs with the taxes included. So let's see if I can make my $32 back or if I can beat the odds to get more than one young guns. I'm not 100% expecting to make my money back off this, but uh, if you guys see my last... Uh, it, retail break of this that I did eight packs. I got four young guns out of eight packs. One of them was a bone barm young guns canvas, and the other one was another top young gun. So I definitely made my money back off those eight packs. So let's see if I can do it with six. And before I even get into it, I'd like to talk about the background cards today. We have goalies in the background today. You might not be able to see him that well. He's kind of shiny there, but we got a Kerry Price OPG Caramel Mini. We got an Ilya Samsonov, Black Illustrious Rookies, numbered 170 of 239. We have a Jonathan Quick, Game Used Jersey from the All-Star Game, from the All-Star Skills Competition. Actually pulled it out of a Dollarama bag. And we have a Thomas Volkun Rookies, uh, graded by GMA 10. So, the background today is featuring goalies. So, let's get into this. How much battery do I have left on my phone? I should have enough to do this video for sure. First pack... I do have a lot of last pack mojo lately, so let's see if we get to last pack, or maybe it switched to first pack mojo this time. We have a young gun right off the hop. We have uh, Justin Ablocator, Steven Stamkos. Oh, I need to get this to focus in. Oops, sorry guys. Uh, Patrick Hornquist, Sergei Bobrovsky. I think this might be a young gun checklist. JT Comper, and if it's the one I think, I definitely made my money back already. Phil Kessel, and please be the one I think it is. Alexis Lafreniere and Vitaly Kratzoff, Young Guns Checklist. Now, I, I didn't get the Lafreniere Young Guns in particular, but this is my second one of these I've pulled. And the last one I pulled, I sold it for $40. Easily sold it for $40. They're selling for around that already because of this guy, because of that guy. Young Guns Checklist usually don't sell for a ton, but go on Ebays and check the sold listings. They've sold between $40 and $60, so... I pretty much have already made my money back. If not my money back, easily $20. Um, pretty decent condition overall. One tiny soft corner right there. It's not bad. It's just a little bit soft. You can see a little tiny edge. But other than that, pretty good condition. No uh, bad edging. No rounded corners like I've seen with a lot of hobby packs. So that's a damn good start. That is a damn good start. Alexis Lafreniere in the first pack. I'm not sure how you guys pronounce his name. I call him Lafreniere. I'm from Newfoundland. We pronounce things differently down here. Now, I just want to find something to lay this on so that the card don't get scraped up or anything. Hmm. Sorry. I'm going to use my kid's Caillou book. <laughs> Classy, I know. But, yeah, very very first pack. Excuse me, guys. Young Guns Checklist. Nice. Of the two best guys you want to get. Let's keep it going with the Lafreniere. Uh, I'd like to get the Lafreniere theme going that would be awesome to get his young guns canvas and his young guns on this too six packs can you imagine can you imagine if that happened um ryan ellis if there was a guy who would happen to on retail with retail on youtube i think i would be that guy because i have ridiculous luck with retail tuka rask jeff carter dylan dubé Ilya samsonov kyle palmieri jt miller who is a beast with vancouver and Mika Sabanajad, who was a beast in his own right. Very underrated, but very good player. Especially now that he has Alexis Love for a year coming to his team. Is that? Okay, never mind. I've seen that wrong. I thought it was a jersey for a second, but I've seen the edging wrong. 
I don't know what this is. Sideways car, but I don't know if it's anything. Maple Leafs, Penguins, or uh, Dougie Hamilton. Sorry about that, guys. I was reading the team names. Boone Jenner, Ryan Suter, Riley Smith. Oh, that was the sideways car I've seen. Matt Zuccarello, and Darnell Nurse. See a lot of those uh, Connor McDavid base misprints. There's a good few misprints of the Connor McDavid base card going around. I don't know what they're selling for or anything, but I know there's a good few of them. Okay, that's not damaging corners here, guys. I'm not here to be damaging corners. Oh, we got a young one, no? This one looks a little bit different. Uh, Alex Golikowski, Zach Cassian, Kirby Doc. Like, look at the side of this. I don't know who that is. That looks really different to me. Uh, Will Butcher, Ivan Provorov. Who, what does that say? Rasmus Ristolainen and Nola Cherry and our Young Guns is... Oh, I got this guy already. Joseph Wall. I seen this, the uh, the NHL jersey on the side. I was kind of confused. Uh, Joseph Wall, Maple Leafs. He doesn't have very good numbers in AHL or anything, but he's a goalie prospect. He plays for Toronto Maple Leafs. That's a $6 card right there. So that's around about what they're selling for right now. 5 to $6. So uh, I'll go on eBay and look at the exact sold listings and... At the end of the video, I'll post the total of what my cards add up to that I pulled. What my inserts add up to. Okay, so I don't know what we have here, if we have anything at all. Uh, Kevin Hayes, Connor McDavid. This is the uh, base that there's a lot of short prints, or a lot of misprints of, apparently. Like this right here, where it says Connor McDavid just isn't there. So that's what makes it a misprint. Uh, Philip Deneau, Simeon Varlamov. Really like that Thatcher Dempo base card. I actually have one of those I put in my binder. I took it and separated it from the base and put it in my binder. I don't collect the base sets of these, but I, I probably do have the base set about five times over by now. Uh, Danton Heinen, Zach Sanford, and Blake Wheeler. Come on. We know all about it on this channel. If any channel has the last pack mojo, it's this channel. Can we prove the theory correct once again? We've done it multiple times with trios. I've done it with young guns. I've done it with some crazy stuff. Even exclusive young guns I've pulled in the last pack before. Let's see. Let's see. But sometimes you just get nothing. Sometimes it's a complete dud. But as far as last pack mojo goes, I've had some pretty sweet mojo in my day. And I don't think I'm going to get it today. But over, I'm not going to complain about this break by any means. Uh... Rocco Grimaldi, Zach Wierenski, Elias Lindholm, P.K. Subban, Timo Meyer, Mark Stahl, David Pasternak, and Bo Horvat. So we started off with a bang and we ended with a whimper, but that's okay because we got the Joseph Wild Young Guns, which is a good $25, or $5 in its own right, excuse me, guys, $5. And then we got this. Alexis Lafreniere uh, and Vitaly Kratzoff, Series 1, Young Guns, checklist, in very good condition. And believe it or not, these cards are selling $25, $30, $40. I've seen ridiculous sales for these on eBay. There's people even getting these graded, the Young Guns checklist graded. Like, rather selling for $30, $40. I sold one for $40 myself, and I didn't even post it for that. I, I just posted it up uh, as for sale looking for offers to see what people would offer. I actually wanted to trade it when I first posted it. And somebody messaged me and offered me $40 right away, and I took the $40. So uh, I think I made my money back on this one. I'll do the eBay check, and I'll post the total uh, towards the end of this video. As I'm signing off on the video, you'll see the total come up. And I hope you guys enjoyed the break on your end. Six packs of Upper Deck Series 1 retail. Paid $32 for all six packs. And I did get two Young Guns, and one of them was a very good Young Guns checklist with Alexis Lafreniere on it, and that's the guy you want to get. And we got Joseph Wall from the Toronto Maple Leafs, who hopefully will pan out to be something good, because when Freddie Anderson leaves, we know Toronto are going to have goaltending issues, so uh, is going to have goaltending issues, excuse me, so we'll see how that works out. But anyways, overall, I'm happy with the break. No other inserts besides these two. We didn't get any canvases or portraits or anything, but doesn't really matter, because we the main attraction is the Young Guns. So, overall, I'm happy with it. Good condition, decent cards, can't complain. This is Open Ice Hits with scotty 2 hockey Have a great day, and of course, with all the craziness in the world right now, please take care of yourself and stay safe for every or two. If you can, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you don't like the channel, hit that unlike button, hit that unsubscribe button, whatever you want to do on your end. Have a great day, folks.